and everybody, and thank you for coming to the press conference and the release of the information on West Haven's curbside trash and food scrap pilot program. It is my pleasure to introduce Mayor Rossi, Mayor of the City of West Haven. Good afternoon, everyone, and thank you so much for coming for this important announcement. We are here today to introduce a pilot project that will give the citizens of West Haven control over the city's solid waste expenses and its impact on the environment. While this is a change for West Haven, it is a proactive one. By adopting one simple household change, West Haven residents have the potential to save their community millions of dollars in taxpayer-funded solid waste fees. Municipal governments have long struggled with the financial and environmental cost of waste management. Now, Connecticut faces a crisis as there are very few solid waste incinerators available and those that remain are rapidly aging. There are towns that are not prepared for the solid waste crisis and how that will impact their taxpayers. We are not one of those towns. I am committed to delivering the services that improve the quality of life in our community and will do so at the best value possible to the taxpayers of the City of West Haven. The $1.3 million state deep funded program that my staff pursued and won in a competitive grant program will allow the city to separate our organic food waste so that it can be disposed of in an anaerobic digester that creates farm, fertilizer, and green energy as an output. Presently, we burn this waste in incinerators at a significant expense. This food waste separation program has enormous financial and environmental benefits for our residents. And instead of asking you to pay more for the services, we simply ask for one simple household chore adjustment to put the food scraps in a separate bag. I would like to emphasize that there is no change to your trash schedules, the trash cans you currently use, or recycling pickups. I know the citizens of West Haven care about their environment, and I know they care about city financing. I am happy to announce this program addresses both concerns. I would like to thank our state delegation for their efforts in making this funding opportunity available for West Haven. Deputy Commissioner Babbage and the Deep Solid Waste Division staff. Consultant Waste Zero for the heroic efforts in putting this program together and their commitment to making it a success for West Haven. Carl Amento and Pam Roach from the South Central Regional Council of Governments for their enthusiastic support of West Haven solid waste modernization efforts. And last, but certainly not least, the City of West Haven's Public Works Department and our Grants Department are working closely together to make this a reality. Thank you. So 
These pilot projects can be instrumental and uh, critically important as part of our efforts to address this ongoing waste crisis. So really happy to be here. And just to go back to this theme of uh, local collaboration and local support, we have through our Co Coalition of Sustainable Materials Management, like we, we refer to it as CCSMM, now we have over 100 municipalities uh, that are part of that initiative that we launched in, in the fall of 2020. And the purpose is really to share experiences and lessons learned, really engage multiple participants and stakeholders, um, and solicit, everyone really likes these ideas, right? So that's really, um, and really find, have a coalition that is really uh, dedicated to seeking creative means um, in terms of funding. So um, 5 million in this first round, 15 towns and 13 regional entities. So just to share with you those municipalities, the municipalities include Ansonia, Bethel, Bethany, Deep River, Guilford, Madison, Meriden, Middletown, where I just was, Newtown, Seymour, Stonington, Rocky Hill, West Hartford, West Haven, Woodridge, and Waterbury, and Woodbury, sorry. And the three regional entities that were also, are also going to be helping us plan, providing critical municipal support and technical support include the South Central Regional Council of Governments, uh, Navitech Valley Council of Governments, and then Stepping in for Carl Hamento, the executive director of Scrog. I'm Pam Roach. I'm the consultant at Scrog for Waste for about four years now. Um, we've been making a lot of progress in West Haven. Congratulations for rolling out this program. Very excited about the waste savings you're going to see and the environmental benefits. Yeah. So Connecticut's waste crisis doesn't get the headlines, but it is a big problem that we need to address. Connecticut lost the Harvest Incinerator, which processes a third of Connecticut's waste. And shipping our trash out of state is harder to do since over the past three decades, the number of U.S. landfills has decreased from over 6,000 to just over 1,000. Our region and the U.S. have a serious waste disposal capacity problem, which is driving to peace higher and higher. Some of our communities have been seeing pricing, pricing double over the last, last few years, and we are expecting more increases to come. Scrock has been actively working together to find solutions like unit based pricing and food scrap diversion through our solid waste and recycling working group, which has been leading over the last four years. Um, and Deep's technical assistance advisor, Waste Zero, has been helping us out tremendously with this. Scrog has um, had 11 municipalities apply for the competitive Deep SMM grant. And we are extremely excited that six will be participating during this upcoming year. The SMM grant funding provides a great opportunity to our municipalities and our residents to participate in innovative food to clean energy coke collection pilots. Coke collection allows any city, town, or water to add food scrap collection with no additional collection cost. No extra trucks on the road, no extra bins to push to the curb. Residents simply put food in the green bag and put other trash in the orange bag that you will be provided and place it in the same container part for collection that you normally use every week. By sorting separated food scraps at home in a separate colored green bag, we are essentially enabling cost-effective universal curbside food scrap collection to all homes and providing a steady stream of food feedstock to fuel growth in the state's anaerobic digestion and composting industries. As the Connecticut makes as Connecticut makes decisions about its future materials management infrastructure, I believe the data and lessons learned from these pilot programs will transform the state from an exporter of waste to a producer of clean energy from food scraps. Thank you. Thank you. And now, Commissioner McCarthy. And as I like to say, finally, um, Tom McCarthy, Commissioner of Public Works for the City of West Haven. Uh, this has been something we've been working on for several years now, so the idea that this has come to fruition is uh, very, very rewarding for this administration, and I want to thank Deep 
for partnering with us and trusting us with this. So I, I'll be very brief. The mayor began by asking us to make one simple change. And it is a simple change, but it's a profound change. And what we're asking you to do is, is utilize this bag. This green, this is the food scraps bag. This is the big change we're asking you. The other color is just a different black bag. These are strong. These will hold up. You can put the food in. You can trust that it's going to stay in there. That's the change we're asking you to make. A few of the details. Shortly, you're going to receive the first two bags. It's going to be these green bags in the mail. What we're asking you to do is next week, we're asking you to go to the, one of the following locations. Stop and Shop, ShopRite, Nazar's Market, uh, the, which is in the Lorenzo's Shopping Center, the Family Dollar Stores, both of them that are on the Post Road, and the Great Way Food Store, which is across from Walmart. Uh, those are the first of the locations that we have in place. We're asking you to go there as soon as you can next week and get your 117 bags. They're free. Those are the orange trash bags. That is envisioned to last us for the nine-month program. Two orange bags, one green bag per week. It is one, This is more than enough for a, a week's worth of food. The two orange bags, when you take the food out, you're going to see you have a lot more room for trash. Um, again, we ask you to put the food colored, the both colored bags out in the normal way you would, right into the same trash can. The pilot program is paying for them to be sorted. So that's part of the cost that the, uh, the state is providing for us. We could not be more thankful. As we go through this, if you have questions or comments, please do not hesitate to call the Department of Public Works. Use the main number, 937-3588. There will be prompts on there sending you to the solid waste coordinator who is on board. Um, it, this is a change, we acknowledge it is. Give it a chance, it's great for the, for the city of West Haven, it's gonna be great for the state of Connecticut, and it will actually be great for everybody when we put this through. So I thank you, I appreciate your time. So that concludes our speakers. I don't know if anybody has any questions. Oh, do you, um... Carlos here, if you oh, want yeah, to Oh, yeah, no, I didn't. Are you ready, you, you want to speak? Good. I'm Carlo Mentor from the Council of Governments, and uh, we just want to congratulate West Haven. Uh, it's uh, mayor, it's council, the uh, officials that are involved, especially in public works, and Doug Coulter, who did such a great job. Uh, Pam Roach, who spoke to you earlier, uh, has been coordinating with all of our 15 towns in the region, and we hope to go regional with this, but we're being led by West Haven. West Haven it just has embraced this uh, perception of the future, which is, is pretty grim, where there's just no more landfill space. Right now, we're sending our trash to Pennsylvania and Ohio. You can imagine how expensive that is and how it's going to be more and more expensive in the future. But West Haven saw the opportunity to take this grant and try out this program, and I think they will prove that there are cost savings and certainly cost avoidance as the fees go up and up and up as we try to dispose of waste in, in ways that really shouldn't be environmentally. So uh, applause to, to all of you for, for going forward with this uh, town-wide effort. It's a leader in the state, and um, we're really proud in the Scrog region, the Greater New Haven region, of West, what West Haven is doing to lead in this matter. Thank you. Does anyone have questions? Is there any expected impact to residents after the nine-month uh, pilot period is over? We're hoping that there'll be proof of um, the diversion of the food waste, which is very heavy, will uh, lower the cost of disposal. And in and also, we're going to be disposing in an environmentally friendly way. So it, if we want the program to be adopted uh, as, a, as something that's permanent. And we expect to see this throughout Connecticut even though uh, West Haven's going to prove it first. Um, but very shortly, we'll be starting programs in other uh, COG jurisdictions, and we'll have proof. This will be uh, proof that you're diverting 30 or 40 percent of the weight, and that will reduce the, uh, the fees. I think a lot of residents want to know, they get 117 free trash bags now. Will they be paying for trash bags in the future? Okay, yeah, I, I think it's a matter of how well the, the program goes, and if 
DEP may continue to subsidize and we want this to work uh, because it, we, we're in an unsustainable path. We can't just keep putting things in landfills. I mean, think of what a landfill is now. It's a mountain. It used to be you were filling in something. Now you're, you're creating these mountains, you know, like Mount Trashmore up near Hartford. Uh, it's, it's silly what we're doing and to send it out to Pennsylvania and Ohio, eventually they're going to run out of room and they're charging us extraordinary amounts to haul it to there. So this is the solution and if it, if it doesn't totally um, allow to go into permanent action with no cost, we will ask the DEP to continue to subsidize and perhaps um, we will ask <laughs> and, then, and the legislature because this is the way to go, and um, we, we don't expect the municipalities to, to bear um, the cost until it's proven that it saves money. And I know that a lot of this grant is supposed to go towards education. I'm not sure if the city has any response for what educational efforts there will be to inform residents that this program is going on. Well, this press conference right here is one of the educational efforts to explain the bags. And we're going to keep, uh, we have um, documents we've already put into City Hall. We have um, had, uh, obviously, as you were well aware, the council meeting that went into it. And we'll be putting stuff up on our website as well. And again, I'm sure in the beginning there'll be questions, of course there will. And, uh, you know, but I think that this is a great program. No, so okay. we're, we're handing out the bags, okay, you're going to start picking up bags this Saturday, okay, so it's 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. starting this Saturday all the way through November 6th, okay, when, when you pick up your bags, first, when you, um, in the mail, when you get to choose green bags, there's going to be information there, there's a trifold brochure, in the box, the boxes you get of bags, there'll be information there, everywhere you go to pick up these bags, all the six locations that we mentioned, there'll be people there to talk to you, to answer any questions that you have. So that's a whole education process right there in itself. Okay, I'll be at one of the locations as well. Probably stop at shop. We'll be creating, we'll be, we'll be creating uh, regional educational materials and just doing as much as we can to promote this. And DEP has hired a uh, promotional organization to help. So we'll be getting the word out. But we think people will will realize it's so simple. It's still using the same can that you always did. You're just going to put two different colored bags in. And a lot of you will probably already have something near your kitchen sink where you're putting the food there, usually with a filter so it doesn't stink. But um, I just, it's becoming uh, the new habit and uh, it, it will save a lot of money for all of us. And, and after the nine month program, you know, if we can if we adopt the program, um, you will be buying orange and green bags versus the bags you normally buy. Normally you buy the white bags and the black bags that tear and these fit a lot more in them and you pack them up really good. So um, that's kind of you know, what would happen. This is a nine month program, right? Starting it's a pilot month. program. Okay, starting next month. We're starting starting next November 7th. November 7th. So you pick up your bags from now to November 6th and Saturday, November, um, Saturday, October 29th through November 6th that are the six locations that Tom McCarthy mentioned. And you'll have that information in the mail. Um, you'll, you'll get the two food bags mailed to you along with the instructions of where to pick them up. Is there an expectation this will go by nine months, past nine month period? Do you think it's going to go beyond that or are you still bad During the nine months, we're going to prove that it is successful in saving money and we're going to show you, we're going to have um, data that's going to show how much food has been diverted, 22% of the waste stream, it's heavy. One of those food bags there, is, it'll be heavier than that big orange bag. The orange bag is 15 gallon kitchen size. The food bag is only eight gallons, and that is heavier when they're filled. When we did the Meriden program, the pilot program, those way, way heavier, the food's way heavier than the orange bag, so it saves a lot of money, because we, we're just gonna double, West Haven's price per ton is gonna double in the next couple of years. So this is gonna slow your rise in taxes if we can divert this food waste material. People learn how to recycle, too, because you wanna only try to use two food bags, two trash bags a week. And people will learn how to recycle and divert their other materials. We'll have an education process. It will be on the website where you can divert your materials, other materials like textiles and donation and things like that as well. Where do we start in the schools? We're already in several of the schools, one in West Haven, one in New Haven, one in Hampton. And uh, we want to expand beyond that. You know, once the kids are into it, they make their parents do it. Any idea of how much money is going to be saved? Are you still working on that ballpark estimate with this program? I, 
don't want to misquote, but it's hundreds of thousands. Oh wait, 400,000 over the next four years? One to three million. Oh, one to three million over the next 10 years. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Doug. I have six towns rolling around my head, so I can't remember which is it. Thank you, Thank you everybody. Thank you. Thank you.